Good morning, wonderful souls of planet Earth. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, beautiful, safe day out there. Today, I just wanted to make a video on the matrix or this fortified system of control that we live in known as society, primarily in the Western world, like I say a lot. And today, I just want to, you know, talk about the matrix and how it keeps such a strong hold and control over, you know, 99% of us, instead of us actually, you know, using our powers, using our eyes and seeing through what's being presented in front of us, you know, from all the news, but mainly, you know, the coronavirus and what's going on right now. This is the biggest fear pusher that is going on right now, you know, the spiritual warfare is happening now and the ones that can see that this biggest form of control that has ever been pushed in the media the ones that can see through it see through the illusion of what they're doing you know we're we're the ones that need to be waking everybody else up this is the mass shift this is the spiritual war the mass shift you know we need to wake up we need to change what we're doing on on the planet we need to change how we're living and going about our lives how we perceive things and it all starts with us as individuals you can't change anything but yourself so, you know so what we need to realize is that we have the utmost full control in this reality over our lives oh and you know we may not have exact control to just change things on you know I want a million dollars and boom make it happen like that but we have the power to work on and manifest anything that we want in this life anything we want from this life anything we want to create of this life we have the power to we have the power to embody it and to take the steps and goals necessary to achieve our you know our our goal to so to say our state of mind, whatever it is we're trying to achieve and work for, we have the power within us at all times. And that, that power is love. Love is the strongest frequency. Fear is the lowest frequency. Love is the strongest. Fear is the lowest. You know, so we really have to, we have to incorporate and really live love in every moment. You know, and that, that requires forgiveness, acceptance for oneself, but the world at large. You know, you, like I say, you can't give anything that you don't have. You can't forgive anybody else if you don't forgive yourself for holding on to that energy and for holding on to whatever it may have been. And you can't accept anyone or anything else if you don't accept yourself for simply what is, not for what you wish it would be or, you know, what it might have been in the past. The power is in the now, us in the now. There is no past and there's no future. The past is dead and the future is uncertain. You know, so we really have to take our power and, and implement it in a, a mindful way, a very present and aware way to where we can see our goals, see the steps that need to be taken and start working on and manifesting through there. You know, like I said, manifestation doesn't happen purely out of wanting something and hoping, you know, wanting it to appear and then it just magically appearing. No, you have to put in that inner work. You have to, you have to be the change that you want to see in the world, you know, and I, I'm, I'm ranting a bit because somehow, you know, you can learn all this, all these spiritual knowledge and tips, but the, the matrix still governs your life if you live in fear in any way. You know, you could be a complete recluse living in your house, but you still have to go out, you still have to get things, and the matrix still watches you. Everything you do is watched. Everywhere you go, wherever you're at, it is watched, unless you're literally out in the woods with nothing but yourself. It's getting recorded, it's getting tracked, you know? So, and most people, 99% of people are they, they believe in the media or something like that in some sort of way. They believe people that believe in the media. Everyone's just a bunch of followers. 
you know, so you really have to become the, 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 the wolf to the sheep, you know, you have to, you have to see through it, whatever life and around you is telling you, people, the news, you, you need to take it with a grain of salt and go within and do your own research and just, you need to figure out what you, what you believe as an individual, what, what is correct for your life and for your path. You know, you can't, you can't go along just listening to everybody else, taking in everybody else's knowledge and calling that the truth. You know, and that, that's what, that's what the matrix does. It teaches us to just be followers, to just listen and, you know, believe what we hear. But I'm here to tell you that what you're being told is not the truth. What you're being told is pushing fear and having us live in a state of fear. And if you want to grow and better yourself as an individual, you need to come to a state of love, understanding, and acceptance within yourself and the world at large. You know, we can't let what's going on in the news right now and for a lot of the world, we can't let it control and dictate us because, you know, the media is pushing that we're in quarantine, that we're in lockdown. But the only thing that keeps you locked down is your mind. If you're in a free state of mind, you're never locked down. I'm not locked down. I haven't been in quarantine at all. I've been outside walking around, you know, doing what I need to do, living in a state of love instead of letting, instead of letting this fear govern and control my life. And that's what we need to do. We need to wake up together, be together, love together, and just simply enjoy our, enjoy our lives, but while going about it in a healthy, progressive manner. We can't be, like I said, we need change in this world. You know, we, we are destroying this earth. We are destroying all the life on this earth, from all the animals that we kill and we eat and we kill for game, to all the forests that are being destroyed for livestock, all the oceans that are just being nothing but polluted needs to stop. We need to make a change. Earth is fighting back and the ones that the ones that aren't gonna on the, be on the side of nature are the ones that are you know gonna get it the worst. Not only are you living in fear in a society that is built in a sense not for you, we are nature and we're living in these these metal cities locked out from nature, quarantining ourselves and our minds from nature these are the ones that aren't going to make it so if you're here for personal growth spiritual growth and to help love spread on this planet and to help wake everybody up just just know that power is within us all that is that is all of our mission here is to wake up together to love and be together thank you all so much for listening have a beautiful safe day out there Thank you.